just listen. Oguyen, you can go I give it for the period. Haruga, Wayanu Haba, Lid and Garifu. Sagwe, you, Wayanu Haba, Lid and Garifu, Darime Lung, we to do what? Does that make sense? Yes. Ah, so that she knows a lot of very good. <laughs> okay, I listen again. What you will do in this class, you will spend a lot of time listening to sound. Because the sounds will give you, there will be dif different sounds that are you change meanings of words. Later on, we'll talk about that. Uguye Wayanuha Lita Garifu. Haruga Wayanuha Lita Garifu. Sagwe Wayanuha Lita Garifu. Darime Lu Wechu Du Luau. Now I want you to repeat after me. Uguye Wayanuha Lita Garifu. Uguye Wayanuha Lita Garifu. Lita Garifu. Haruga Wayanuha Lita Garifu. Haruga Wayanuha Lita Garifu. Sagwe Wayanuha Lita Garifu Wechu Du Luau. Sago where you were in Halid and Garifuna, Darim and Moon were children of Luago. Good. I mean, let's try that one more time. Go in. No. Yeah. That's Spanish. That's a Spanish. Enya. Wayanuha Lidan Garifuna Wayanuha 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 Lidan Garifuna Sagu Wayu Wayanuha Ba Lidan Garifuna Daddy Man Loon Now let me just stop for a while and explain a few things and let me start from here. In English, you will say men, right. but we say me. Me. me, which is a nasal sound because of the E and the vowel letter, the N and the vowel letter before it. And here, N and the vowel, Lu. Lu. you would say, in English, you say Lon, right? But no, in Greek, you say Lu. Lu, Lu. yes. So does that mean that if there's a vowel in front of the N, it's the N a nasal, there's a nasal sound. sound. There's a, it's not silent, there's a nasal sound. <laughs> eh, like it comes through your nose. Lu, mm. 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 uh, eh, okay. du, du, let you do. Li dan, na li dan, li dan, li dan, li dan, li dan, li dan. Yeah. Okay. Let's try that one. We have to teach you how to talk, right? Yeah. If you look at the words, you will notice that the first word we started with is. Garifuna. Does anybody have any idea what the word Garifuna means? Uh, place? Garifuna is a place, pretty close. I heard Garifuna meant cassava eating people. Garifuna means cassava eating people. Eating people? Cassava eating people. Very nice. Now, when we communicate, what's your name, Lady? Mm -hmm. Daryl. Daryl? Any of this? Isania. Isania, no Isania. Any of your man? Big Ellis. Big E. All right. Daryl, <laughs> Isani, and Big E. All right. He mentioned, uh, we're going to need another board. He mentioned the word cassava. Right? Uh, language builds on itself. I asked you about the word garifuna, right? And he introduced a new word in the definition of the word garifuna, and that word is. Uh, cassava. We're going to need more. Um, we're going to need better. Um, that word is cassava. Now, in the um, in the teaching of words or language, boys, young men, you will notice that um, 
you have to wonder where do these words come from? Right? He said that Garifuna means cassava eating people. Now, question where does the word Garifuna and where does the word cassava come from? Are they related um, to Sami? Yes, because both of them are kind of like a name. Mm -hmm. Cassava is the name of a what? A food? A food. Garifuna is the name of a what? A language or a culture mm -hmm. and also a people. That's what we call ourselves. That is the introduction of the class. The word Garifuna means cassava people. Cassava is a food. It shows a relationship between, it shows clearly that there's a relationship between the two words. But since this is a Garifuna class, one of the things we want to impart onto you, one of the things we want you to go away with, is the Garifuna equivalent of these words. Is there a word in Garifuna for Kasa? Yes. Yes. You know what it is, uh, no. Sammy? I bet you've heard it at all. No, I haven't and this is your first vocabulary word, uh, young man. Write it down. And when I tell you a it's a vocabulary word, I want you to write it on a sheet, like on the back. If I tell you uh, this is a vocabulary word, I want you to write the English version of the word and the Spanish version of the word ten times. Cassava in our language is Herba. And it's spelled E R E B A. Right, Mr. Alvarez? Right. In this class, Mr. Alvarez is the senior teacher. I am the junior teacher. And even though he's pretending to be a nice man, he actually is my boss. <laughs> he will write an evaluation and you will say next year, don't bring back Mr. Mejia. I know Mr. Alvarez, so be nice to me and don't ask me difficult questions that I don't know. <laughs> Our first. Uh, the original word is the river.